Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Root from NoShow.com here with you guys again today, bringing you back with some more Python tutorials. Let's get idle fired up here and let's see what we can do. I'm going to uh, create a new script. Call this one file.python. We'll uh, get a shebang line started. Create a new class. There! I finally did it! I finally created this entire skeleton program without typing in any anything wrong. Any errors. That's awesome! Look at that, dude! That, that's great! <laughs> alright, 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 let's get on with the tutorial. What I'm going to do here is create a new string variable. Call this one uh, self.string. I can, uh, I'm just going to put in here string. Like, the value of the string is just going to be plain old string to keep it easy. And, uh, now the function I want to show you guys today is called, uh, zfill. But before we get started with that, let's print out our string and let's concatenate on here some new line characters. So, this is what we're working with. We're just working with plain old string. And now, if we look at zfill, we can do self.string and then we can dot zfill. And what zfill does is it, you can pass a width to it, and what it will do is it will... Um, try and increase the length of the current string that you've passed to it, or the string that you're calling it with, and it'll try and increase it to uh, this length 20 by adding in zeros to the left of it. It's kind of a strange function, but if we run this, you can see what I mean. It adds all these zeros to it and string to equal a width of 20. So let's try and recreate this all on our own. It's actually incredibly simple. Like, you will kind of be surprised. We spent more time writing the skeleton code rather than we're going to do writing the function. Let's define this. Define uh, zfill. We can use self string width. And now what we're going to do right off the bat is return 0 times the width minus the length of the string plus the string. And then we're done. Now, I mean, if we if we go put this up in our constructor, if we do print, uh, let's see, self dot z fill, and we pass in our string here, self dot string, and we pass in twenty, we're gonna get the exact same output. <laughs> so now, see what we're doing here is we're adding zero, we're adding all these zeros, but what we're doing is first we're finding the width, and then we subtract the length of the string. So if we have twenty and we have six. We can, uh, we can do 20 minus 6 and we get 14. So now we have 14 zeros, because 0 times 14 is going to give us, it's going to give us anyway those 14 zeros, and then we add on the original string. So now this can work even if our, uh, even if our width that we pass is less than the size of the string. If we do 4, and we do 4 right up here, we're still going to get the original string value. <laughs> so this one is real simple. I think we've kind of looked at this idea before, and we made it a little bit more complex, but now here it is in the bare bones. This is all the function does. It's, uh, it's very simple. It's, it's, I don't, I don't see anywhere where you would ever use this function, but hey, <laughs> it's in the Python language, so let's try and see how we, we could create this on our own, and, uh, here it is. It's a, it's a one-liner. <laughs> so, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy tutorial, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.